SPACs seem to be almost a fad, as far as I can tell. I know you're in SPACs, I believe, as well as in private equity. How are you looking at the method of investing right now? Well, you know, we did a SPAC. Uh, we're 52 days into it, so it's very early. We did it because we thought it was an attractive way to sequester capital and uh, and, and provide an opportunity for uh, uh, combination of our judgment and capital uh, and in creating a public company. Uh, yes, there's a lot of SPACs out there. Uh, I suspect that uh, the success ratio is uh, indicative of the fact that there's too many of them chasing too many opportunities. But it's no different than any other time. It's just another quiver in the, or another arrow in the quiver and uh, it's going to, you know, it's going to end up financing a lot of transactions, particularly uh, in the area of uh, family-owned businesses that are looking for monetization. And uh, Sam, it's good to talk to you again. Um, a lot of SPACs have also been energy. That was sort of the fad about a couple years ago, and a lot of them did not do well. Um, what's your take on that? Do you think that there are opportunities there that are being missed right now? Well, I think that the, envi the energy environment is very, very treacherous right now. Um, I, you know, we've been an investor in energy for however long I can remember. I don't remember a period that's been as volatile as this. Uh, and, uh, and as such, uh, uh, mixed energy, the one thing that it always was was very stable. And with the price of oil and the price of gas uh, moving back and forth the way it has been, uh, that stability is gone, and, and that makes it a very treacherous place to play. And whether or not the current pricing uh, is getting get paid for the risk is a big question. Well, fair enough. Um, what we have seen, though, is a lot of M&A in this space, finally. I feel like I've been waiting for it for about four <laughs> years. Um, I spoke to Leon Calvaria. He's Citigroup Global Markets Chairman of Institutional Clients Group earlier, and he talked a little bit about what he thought it was going to play out. Here's what he had to say, Sam. A number of those companies will have trouble getting their cost of capital and being able to fund themselves, especially given where energy prices are right now. So my own view is you will see continued consolidation in terms of in terms of the shale business right now. And that will be for a simple reason, which is some of the companies are too small to compete. Their access to capital is limited. So you'll get more and more consolidation as people try to get their costs down. Sam? What's your call on that? Yeah. Well, I think he's exactly right. I mean, from a securities point of view, uh, energy has been a big bust. And to a large extent, it's been a big bust because there's been too many companies and too much capital, you know, chasing the space, driving down the, the, the cost of play. Uh, now we're in the reverse. And, 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 and the energy space is very, you know, cross-dependent. I mean, they stopped drilling in the Permian and it ends up squeezing the amount of natural gas that naturally comes with that drilling. And all of a sudden, the price of natural gas goes from a buck 90 to 330. Uh, so everything is tied together. And, uh, and, and again, I'm, he's from, a, from an M&A point of view, I think he's exactly correct. So, Sam, finally, to wrap this thing up, you've invested in a lot of different asset classes and been very successful. How about the asset class of cash right now, given all the uncertainty? Are you rich in cash? Do you think that's a place to go? Well, I, um, I mean, I'm, I'm very focused on, you know, the alternatives. And uh, we probably are more liquid today than we've ever been before. Uh, one of our public companies was sitting with $3 billion in cash as a result of a hmm. five-year liquidation program. Um, I'm not sure that it's going to be as valuable as it was in 1992, huh. uh, but I think that uh, as we evolve out of COVID, yeah. uh, lots of opportunities will come up and ultimately yeah. capital determines it all. 